do you guys want to actually know how to make money online well let me just tell you straight up that it is actually a lot harder than a lot of people make it out to be but in terms of actually getting a lot of these things up and running and getting some momentum on them that part can be easily done if as long as you put in a decent amount of hard work in the beginning so let's get into it so first things first i've done lots of online side hustles if you would like to call them i've done drop shipping i've done amazon fba i've done a ton of stuff but over the time doing these side hustles doing these online forms of making money i understood a lot of key principles that you can actually use in order to actually make money online not just make money online promised to you by influencers and other people like that and let's get into that right now so what i mean by influencers what's been a problem as far as i've seen is how easy influencers make every one of these things seem. They make it seem that you can just immediately go in and make millions of dollars just in your first month, and that's honestly not the case. Guys, it's not the case at all. It's gonna take you a long time to develop necessary skills to actually do well with each of these things. It's gonna take you a long time to learn the business model that you're wanting to get into. And that's not if you're bouncing around in different business models, you're not gonna find what it is you actually want to do so the first tip i'm going to recommend to actually make money online is to pick one thing and one thing only and work on that for at least a year if you can do that even if you weren't successful with it you're going to learn a lot of things you're going to learn so much if you're actually working at it if you're just doing it once a week you might as well just not be doing anything at all but if you're actually working on this every single day maybe you won't see any money there's a good chance you will though, if you're working at it for a year, but maybe you don't see any money. What is something positive you could take from that? Maybe the lessons that you've learned going through and starting up a little side hustle of yours. That is more valuable than simply putting in an ounce of work every day because an influencer tells you to, an influencer tells you it's very easy to do something, whatever the case might be guys. So realistically, I would pick one thing and for whatever reason, if you don't like it, if it didn't make you any money, if it just overall is not working out for you, give it a year. Give it a year to see what can happen. And that's gonna allow you to be more disciplined and choose something that you'd actually think you do well in. Because if you're just bouncing around and just getting dopamine off of going for these get rich quick stuff, because sure, you can make money with all of these things. I'm not denying that, but it takes a lot longer than a lot of people think. There's guys who have years of experience over you who will show a video of them going from a $0 dropshipping store to a $30 dropshipping or a 30 day dropshipping store and telling you, hey, I was able to make X amount of money in 30 days. What do they have that you don't? They have seven years of experience that you have zero. You have zero years of experience going against someone who has seven. So understand that, understand when you see videos like that, these are guys who have years of experience with this stuff, just years of experience. So that is something that a lot of people don't understand. So I would pick one thing, focus it on one year. Let's get into the next thing. The next thing is to understand that some of these things require you to actually put money for, towards. Not everything you can do for free. If you wanna actually see progress with something, you have to treat it like a business and invest into it. Just because it says, oh, you can do this for free. There's people out there who are doing things and paying and getting ahead of you a lot faster. Even with something like a hundred bucks a month, they are getting miles ahead of you, miles ahead of you guys. So spend money on these online side hustles, online businesses, pick one thing, spend money on it towards it, dedicate a certain amount even. And if you start to see revenue come in, start to up your budget, start to actually try to grow your business. Treat this like a business, not just something you're going to do for a little bit and then throw away. Treat everything you do seriously, and you're gonna actually see some great results. So now number three, we've been talking about, this is gonna be, understand that it's not as easy as it seems to be. Influencers are wanting you to seem, to make it seem easy and wanting to, you to understand or to think that they have the key to your success. When in reality, it is you who has the key to your success. Why do they want you to think that way? They want you to think that way so you trust them and so you want to buy their promise in the form of a course, in the form of a Discord server, whatever the case might be. 
Now, sure, this works for them. Um, it's a great idea to do because a lot of people do want information, paid information, because they are promised a promise. And it makes sense to do this. But I'm just telling you guys, you need to understand that that's not always the case. It's not as always as easy as it seems. And realistically, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication and just knowledge to actually do well in any field that you would like to pursue if you are trying to start an online business or even a real business in general. So keep that in mind, guys. With the internet, you have so much information being thrown at you, so much information telling you that it's very simple to do. You do have some authentic people, genuinely authentic people, offering you valuable resources, sometimes for a price, sometimes for free. These are people who actually explain to you that it is hard to do. It is going to take you a long time. It's not gonna be something that's easy.